Hi, so I had to pause, pause the video for a second. So to get going or to continue the video, as you can see, uh, I have a method called get attribute. On the demo that I did, you saw that I have the value for the what page I have and the total pages per page and the total searches that it's found. So to get all this, I have an, a method called get attribute. And what this one is doing is, as you can see, I'm using uh, XML.link and Lambda expression. And as you can see, I'm passing the photo. I'm gonna open the file that I did earlier. So I'm gonna open this one that I did, I was testing on. So if you ask yourself, where did I get photos from? It's from here. That's photos, as you can see. Photos. And then I'm saying, I wanna select the attribute uh, where the name is the attribute that I'm looking for. And then give me the first attribute and the first vector. That's how this one is giving me back this attribute and I have the name and the value which basically means that if I say I want a server attribute it will give me the server attribute and the value that's what this method is doing this one. so two lines and then you return it back uh, the next thing is the same thing now this is a little bit tricky which is getting the photos attributes for example the title that's an attribute but you don't need it for to get the images you do need the farm the server secret and the id so here's what i did i went down one level more in the xml to photo so i'm getting elements photo elements as you can see i got four here so they all going into this bucket, let's call it that. And then all this list. So I'm looking through and here I'm getting the element and I have another method to uh, get details. On this one, this is gonna be my final object that is gonna hold the values to build the URL. So here I'm saying, hey, give me the attributes for that element and we're gonna look through. And we're gonna go through each loop and we're gonna find each loop if, if, if I have the farm, server, ID, and secret. Once the loop is finished, I'll have all these values into my object called photo value. This is something that I just made up just to keep reference. It's easier to read your code when you have a class, you got a reference in this URL. So here again, I'm using uh, the string dot format, and I'm passing on here my value right after. And as you can see, I have my final URL, and I'm just saying Firefox open up to this URL. So hopefully, this video will help you uh, a bit about using the Clerk uh, service. You can find it by going up at the bottom of the page on the API documentation. And this this video is using the photo search. There's a bunch, uploads and all that. But this one was the easiest to show on this uh, video. So if I can find it, there we go, photos, that photo, that search, that's what I'm using. And as you can see, we're using the tags to pull images, at least on this. There's many ways, but that's one way. So if you have any questions, uh, of course, you can leave it on YouTube. Uh, the fastest way I will answer back to you is you go to Twitter at Cafe ASP. Uh, you can follow me and then I can send you the answer back or the source code back. And otherwise, you can, I'm also um uh, at facebook.com c sharp nerd and i'm posting uh links for the source code so 
So if you want this sort sort code, uh, send me a message via Facebook. If you want to like this page or on Twitter. Thank you for watching.